Dear students, welcome to 10th Standard Social Science Revised Textbook Videos. In this video, let us see Chapter 17, The First War of Indian Independence. First main, fill in the blanks with suitable words. British historians refer to the 1857 revolt as Dash. Correct answer is the Sipai Mutiny. The policy brought into force by Dalhousie was Doctrine of Lapse. Dash killed the British Major during the 1857 revolt, Mangal Pandey. Jansi Rani fought against British and took Dash under her control, Gwalior. Second main, discuss the following in groups and answer them. What were the effects of the doctrine of lapse? Analyze. Many kingdoms lost their rights due to the promulgation of doctrine of lapse brought out by the British. Satara, Jaipur, Jansi, Udaipur and other kingdoms came under British control. The economic changes of the time were responsible for the 1857 revolt. How? Indian handicrafts and cottage industries suffered heavily. England became a hub of industries. The Indian craftsmen became unemployed. Primarily, the textile and wool industries became sick and people lost their jobs. The cottage industries too suffered a death blow. The British imposed a heavy tax on sale of Indian goods in England. Because of the zamindar system, the farmers were exploited. The right given to the taluks to collect tax was withdrawn. An Inam commission was appointed. Inam lands were taken back. The farmers experienced many financial problems. What were the factors that disturbed the religious sentiments of the soldiers during the 1857 revolt? The religious sentiments of the Indian soldiers were disturbed when they were forced to cross the oceans to serve on a foreign land. What were the immediate causes for the first war of independence? The soldiers were being given new rifles called Royal Enfield. A rumor spread among the soldiers that the cartridges used in these rifles were greased with the fat of cow and pigs. While cows were sacred to the Hindus, pigs were blasphemous for Muslims. Make a list of the reasons for the failure of the revolt. The movement did not spread to the whole country. This struggle was intended to protect the interests of a few rather than getting freedom for the country. Instead of being an organized struggle, it erupted due to certain unexpected reasons. The unity among the British forces and Lack of it among the Indian soldiers also led to the failure. There was no proper direction or proper leadership. In addition, there was a lack of strategy, expertise among soldiers, effective leadership, discipline and direction. Many provincial kings, on account of their royalty to the British, 
did not support the struggle the people lost confidence in the soldiers due to their arson and looting what were the features of the declaration of the british queen in 1858 the agreements made by the east india company with the kings were accepted ambitious expansion plans had to be given up a stable government had to be provided to indians there would be equality before law the government would exhibit religious tolerance and not to interfere in religious matters of the country